I think it should be recording, so... <clears throat> it's 12.54pm, 26th of June, 2020. So anyway, I haven't made a video in a while. <laughs> I just didn't feel like making a video. When was the last time I uploaded? Let me check. I was in this maybe uh, I don't know maybe more than a month definitely but okay, why is this list working? Come on. So um, the oh May eight so it's yeah uh, yeah maybe six weeks uh, maybe anyway so. Um, So, yeah, so, yeah, I just didn't feel like uploading, uh, I don't know, I just didn't feel like it. Um, I was gonna low and, but I, you know, I became very obsessed with this whole Black Lives Matter movement and I was seeing all the uh, marches and the Chaz Chop thing. I think the, the, the first time I started seeing the Chaz was the, was the day the police left. That night was when I first like started following it, and I thought that was a magical day, because the police had left, and you were, and they were trying to set up barricades and stuff, and uh, yeah, so it was like the it's like the birth of a new city or a new place, and it was like, and then I remember that scene when there were these these people were dancing like, uh, like holding each other and just that and I thought that was like so magical because it's like the state is no no longer there the state uh, represented by the police is gone and you're like in this free truly free place and, yeah. anyway I thought that was very magical but then and yeah the shootings and I remember that uh, day when the shooting was there and I was like oh it was like so like the first shooting I mean and uh, you know, the other person died, and was, that was like, that was very shocking, it was like, almost like an existential dread when you're like, because you know, I saw some videos where, you know, this guy was uh, was very near to the thing, and you know, the gunshots, you know, it was like, oh, I can't believe someone, you, you did that to another human being, how can you do that? Anyway, so, um, Anyway, yeah, I've been following, you know, the stuff in Portland. <laughs> yes, I've been very obsessed with that. Uh, anyway, the the reason why I'm making this video, oh yeah, that's right, the, the you know, the uh, NDIS, that was, uh, you know, it's, uh, the application with the tribunal. So, um, yes, I, I'm successful. So the NDIA, uh, you know, said yes, okay. You know, because they they wanted this. They they had my in, the initial report of, of the occupational therapist, but they wanted like a supplementary report. And then uh, the the occupational therapist wrote a supplementary report saying why early intervention would be good or something, and uh, early in intervention requirements. And so they, they so they accepted that report. And so so I. Uh, so you know, I signed the thing, and uh, they signed the thing, and then it's like it's like uh, we asked the tribunal to buy agreement or by, uh, to um, come up with a to give this decision or something. So so it's like um, yeah. So you know my access request for the national disability insurance scheme was denied on the first and on the uh, review, internal review, and now so by with the, with the tribunal, you know, they did the report and, and you know, they did all that stuff. And my access request has been approved. So now this means that I can get funding from the NDIS to help me deal with some of my issues, you know, therapeutic support, I think they call it, or, you know, the, the, yeah, I've, I've got to actually uh, 
deal with that like what sort of supports are available and so that's the ne next stage is like trying to develop an NDIS plan I think where you figure out like what what's our what's what the NDIS can fund what are available and yeah, I don't know about that so that's next step but the tribunal hasn't yet uh, given the uh, like they have to uh, you know they said they will provide it uh, in, in due course uh, what did they say yeah okay so they say yeah, they will be processed and we notify once the thing based in due course. So they're processing the uh, signed terms. But okay. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, I've been trying. I've been trying to take a bath at least once a week. So that's been a challenge. I just shaved. The reason I like. I I just shaved now so I could make this video because <laughs> I haven't been shaving roughly. Uh, I also like ordered a guitar, <laughs> like, uh, uh, you know, the acoustic guitar, I don't know, I just like, ordered, it's like a, it's like for, like a good beginner's guitar, it's like, it's called, um, I did a Google site, like, what are the best guitars, and it's like, it's a Fender 6D-60S. Uh, why isn't this showing? Uh, that's what I ordered, the Fender 660. And I also am going to get a snare drum, you know, the snare drum, the marching band drum. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, I saw like, when I, it's because I see in the videos people are, you know, the, the, it's one of the uh, like protests, they did the, the drum. And uh, sometimes, you know, someone play the guitar. I'm like, you know, I just want to do it for fun. I'm not doing it for anything else. I'm also thinking about getting a clarinet. Uh, I don't know. Well, this like they said, this is a good one for like six ninety nine. It's a good clarinet, a student clarinet. So maybe I'll, you know, they have to give like a second stimulus, like seven fifty. Maybe I'll use that stimulus to get the clarinet. Uh, yeah, but the drum, I calculated, like, the drum, I can get it, like, like, this drum, it's like a maple snare drums, like, 199, and then you can get a drum stand for 109, and you get the drum sticks for 2195, so, it's like 350, almost like the guitar, it's uh, 299, anyway. Anyway, why am I why am I mentioning that in it? Because I mean, just I, I just like was like googling it and and finally like, what are the best drums? What are the so I was just doing that. I, don't, I, don't, I like the way these drums look. They look nice. So yes, that's what I've been doing. And uh, so so my uh, NDIs was approved and. Yes, uh, you know, I think that the police should be defunded in the sense that I don't know if I'll talk about this more, more like, I don't believe uh, Yes, uh, you know, because the police have a lot of power. I mean that they have a lot of a lot of power to arrest people to issue fines and things and they can use that to harass people or you know, you know what I mean? So, and related to that, I, I also I don't I don't believe I don't believe in retributive justice. I believe in rest, restorative justice. Like retribution is like you're trying to punish people about the whole past conduct and to deter future conduct. Whereas re restorative justice is you're not trying to punish people, but you're trying to. Uh, use the community to promote healing and to promote good behavior in the future. Uh, there's a page where they sort of talk about this. Uh, I don't know if I want to make a separate video about this. 
Uh, I don't know, maybe I will, maybe I won't. I've also been playing this tennis game on, on Steam. I really like this tennis game. I've almost played like what? How, long, how much have I played of this? I've played like 39 hours of this tennis game. This is not the one I used to play virtual tennis. This is called AO Tennis 2. I think it stands for Australian Open Tennis 2. But it's like, it's really, really much more uh, varied and it's, it's, it's more... Um, um, it's more realistic. It's not really realistic, but it has much more uh, depth as virtual tennis. So you know, but it doesn't have some of the official players like Federer is not in it. So, but not, but uh, Nadal is in it. But anyways, uh, that's what I've been doing. Yes, uh, I don't know what else to say. Uh, yes, so this Black Lives Matter has definitely. Uh, showed me what you know it's 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 awoken me to like how racism is like actually yeah it gives it's giving me the confidence to call out racism and you know to to understand that yes like racism like before i knew racism exists but i wasn't really like like uh confident to say what is or is not racist uh, so for instance I can say that Australia <laughs> is a racist country I can say that and then uh, like before I wouldn't be able to say that because I was making all these justifications I wasn't really thinking about it the reason I say Australia is a racist country is because of the when it, when the Australia was settled, it was settled on Aboriginal ran, land. So they, they they I think they killed a lot of Aborigines. So that's the first thing. Then they had this uh, white Australia policy in the early 19th century. So that's again you know the fear of Asians. You know the, I think mostly Chinese people or something. And they also had the stolen generation where they stole these Aboriginal children from their um, parents and put them in these institutions or something. And Australia, I think Australia has a kind of xenophobic and racist because, like, you know, they don't, they, they're like these refugees who are mostly brown people. They, they don't, they, you know, they, they're from the boats, they, they, they try to put them on these different islands, they treat the refugees badly. Yes, uh, <laughs> mostly brown people. Uh, yeah, and there's a thing called casual racism where Australians just don't think they're being racist, where they're making jokes or something. Anyway, so I feel like Australia is a racist country. I mean, if when they when people say is uh, is Australia racist, they're not. Anyway, I mean, <laughs> so um, I would put Australia's racism on like 7.75 out of 10. That's pretty high. Uh, in comparison, I would say the United States is 7 out of 10. The reason I put United States racism as less than Australia is because at least in the US, they take racism seriously and people are trying to do something about it, whereas in Australia, I don't think they even think there is a problem, which is why it's a problem. Um, you know, that is a big problem. Like, for instance, I mean, this is just my own view. I'm not going to solve statistics or anything. For, for the UK, I would put 6.5. For Canada, I might put 5.5. Uh, New Zealand, I might put four. <laughs> Germany, I might put four or four point five. See, so those are like I think Australia is far more racist than. Uh, I don't think Australians realize uh, because I've even heard some people like someone tell me like oh, you know. and when I mean Australians, I'm thinking about white Australians, you know. And that's another thing, it's like, <laughs> there's a black lives matter movement, like, you have all these white people, and I'm just sort of, it's like, when black people call out racism, you, you, you get the, you, you, you come to understand and expect how blackness and whiteness are two different things, 
so like black people are here, white people are here. It's like you, so you get to conceptually define two groups of people, and 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 you can be so open and frank about discussing race. You know, so like sometimes I feel like when I say white people, I, feel, I don't know. I feel like I shouldn't say that, or you know, maybe it's racist for me to say that. I don't know, but. The Black Lives Matter movement is making this discussion more open, and uh, I think that's a good thing. Now, as far as race is concerned, I don't think race scientifically is I mean, is, is a thing, but I think sociologically, uh, culturally, maybe, maybe in, a, in a psychological sense, the way we relate to each other, it, the race is a thing. You know, racism has its root in colonialism, as my understanding goes. Um, because that's how they used then allowed uh, justifying the uh, oppression of non-white people, particularly black and brown people. So and then you know this white supremacy thing is like uh, you know very real because on this planet uh, most Western democracies are you know majority white, and they have the power. It's, the white supremacy is about power. And um, you know, it manifests itself in uh, you know, like they have uh, economic power, military power, uh, political power. You know how the the these transnational corporations go into these um, so-called third world countries and uh, you know, they even call that third world. <sighs> Is that crazy? I have a problem with that phrase. Anyway, so. The way they go into these countries and am I still recording? Uh, oh yeah, it's still recording. Uh, and you know, exploit uh, the people there, take their resources, and you know, it's just so horrible. Like, uh, it's not good. So there is this racism. Uh, White supremacy is, is a real thing, and uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that white people, like individual white people are bad or whatever, uh, are racist, but they, they partake in a system that puts white people, like, or assumes that white people are, uh, you know, better than... <laughs> Uh, non-white people, uh, because it's because due to the history, it's a historical thing. You know, it grew up out of colonialism. The reason why I say racism started in colonialism is because I don't think the way we see race, like black, white, and Asian, the way we just see race, did not exist before colonialism. Because before colonialism, yeah, you had people who had black skin, but they weren't seen as a racial group. You know what I mean? They weren't like all... And racism is, is not only about categorizing people, but it's also like attaching certain like attributes. So you say like, let's say the racist idea is... Uh, I don't know. Like, like they would say that, you know, white people are like have an IQ of 100 and the Asians are more... <laughs> and the black people or brown people are less. This is all like, um, like, yeah, attaching, not only IQ, but also like, like saying some people are more moral than the others. All these values, attributes attached to race is what is uh, racism, you know, it's like, it's not only the categorizations, but the meanings attached to what it means to be white, black, and things. Uh, whereas before colonialism, they would have, my understanding is that they, they would, you would have these different people groups. For instance, during the Roman times, there were barbarians, and barbarians were like white people, <laughs> who we would see now as white people, the Romans are regarded as barbarians. You know, like from Germany and things. I don't know if I'm accurate on that, but, you know, and I think in, in Rome, they had like black, uh, I don't know, generals or something. So it's like the way we see race and the way people, uh, it's not the same way, but it's always been, you know? Uh, so.
<sighs> anyway, so I think I'll leave it there and yeah. Yes, so, so my NDIS was uh, approved and yeah, I'm very happy with that. Yeah, yeah actually that, that sort of lifted my mood. I, I didn't realize how much of a downer, <laughs> like I didn't realize how, uh, how uh, stressful that whole appeal process. I actually like almost quit, but then, you know, um, thankfully I, I continued with the appeal. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I'm very happy with that, uh, with my appeal being successful and hopefully I can get some help with some of my social, psychological problems and, uh, help and, uh, because at the end, what the NDIS does is like an insurance, so if I want, like, if I want, like, some kind of therapy, I can get the government to pay for the therapies like or whatever it is they call you know they're called um ndis providers if there are certain providers out there who can provide services that can help with some of my problems uh with my psychosocial disabilities what they call it uh then well my psychosocial disability attributable to a psychiatric condition so then the government can pay for it, so I don't have to pay for it. Uh, so that's a good thing. So, I've been buying lots of video games because they're on discount. As usual, I don't I haven't been playing many video games, but I've been buying one. So maybe even with the guitar, I'll get the guitar, and I don't know. I'll just maybe uh, and then put it away. <laughs> With the drums, I'll buy it and uh, I'll just get tired of it in like one day and... But hopefully not, you know, hopefully I'll do something. I'm really excited about getting the clarinet. I, got the, I like the clarinet sound. I like that sound, it's so nice. It's like... Yeah. Because there's some of these classical music with the sound and it's like, I like that sound. Uh, 